Are you curious about ideas for water purification, water filtration? What are you going to drink while you're evacuating or trying to get home from your office or business? We got some ideas. Stay tuned and we'll go through them. Hey everybody, welcome to the Cascadia Abyss Dispatch. I'm Casey and today we're going to talk about some water options, water filtration options. Uh, we're not going to talk about big home uh, kind of water caches or water systems. It's for a, another topic where we're talking about multiple gallons of water and storing stuff and it's just not something we're going to tackle today. What we are going to tackle today is what you might want to have in your car, what you might want to have in a laptop bag, what you might want to have in a bug out bag or a go home bag or a get home bag or a 72 hour bag or any of the other bag bags that people talk about where you are looking to leave your home or leave a, a large structure and, and go somewhere else and while you're traveling you want to have some some clean water. Okay so why do we want to filter our water? Well in an emergency in a disaster you're not going to have the wonderful drinking water that you have out of the tap that you can normally drink. Uh, you may be using water sources like lakes or ponds or uh, you may be using pipes but those pipes may be broken somewhere down the the track and you don't know it and so you have contaminants in it. So at a first level you likely will want to be boiling water if you can. Um, that's one of the best ways to make sure that you kill any bacteria or viruses or anything that are in it. Um, but you may not have the opportunity to boil. You may be on the go and you don't have time to start a fire. So here are some, some options that you can use that will be effective, that will keep you safe or at least as safe as possible. Um, while you're you're moving from place to place. So the first thing is, what we looked at last week was the ready-made uh, emergency kit, and it had five of these 125 milliliter pouches of water. Um, you would use this as probably your, your drinking water in the kit that they had, and then there were some aqua tabs, and these are tablets that have some chemicals in it. You put it in two quarts of water, and it gets rid of all the yuck in it, and makes it ready to drink, or at least potable so that it won't make you uh, extremely sick. The problem was they gave you tablets to make two quarts of water, and they gave you a cup that is not two quarts big enough. So you would still need some container or something to make the water in, and um, that just means you've either got to put it in the kit to begin with, or you've got to find somewhere to do that. All right, so what do I have in my kits? What do I use? What do I found? So the first thing that I have, my first kind of line of, of water defense are water bottles. Um, we have these in all the cars. We have them at home. We, we take them with us when we go places. Uh, a plastic water bottle, obviously you want to recycle them because it's not good for the planet to have just tons of plastic water bottles everywhere um, as opposed to a mylar pouch which is just going to get thrown away. Um, you can at least recycle these to some extent um, but we use those, we use them when we're out and about uh, for obviously if it was a big emergency we would have them but also for smaller emergencies. We have a flat tire on the side of the road and somebody wants to drink a water it's really hot and we are at a baseball game and uh, we don't have a drink for the kids or something we've got water bottles um, they're just really handy to have and we keep them uh, as many places as we can because water is super important. Um, a couple of things you want to remember about water bottles are you want to be able to cycle through them. You, you don't want a water bottle that's just sitting for a year or two years. Um, we try to cycle through them every three to six months if we can um, to make sure that the, there are no chemicals from the plastic are getting into the water and the integrity of the plastic is holding up so it's not going to crack. Uh, when we store them in our bags, uh, I usually store them in a side pocket, so in case they leak, the leak is somewhat contained to that pocket and the outside of the bag, as opposed to keeping it in the main pocket where it could get in and, and ruin all of the other equipment that's there. All right, so the next option are life straws. Life straws are these wonderful inventions that someone came up with that allow you to basically put a big blue straw in a lake and drink out of it. They're really handy, they're really cool. Um, they will filter 200 to 300 gallons of water. Um, not that you're gonna need that amount of water, but just to give you an idea of how durable these are and, and the quality of the filter. Um, what's great about it is you can just basically use them anywhere. 
The problem is, is that you can't really use them anywhere because you have to have something to put them in to drink out of. So you would need a cup um, to, to drink out of, um, or you would need a bowl, or you would need a like, um, they do make water bottles that actually have a life straw included in them uh, that you could use every day if you wanted to. The problem with that is you either, if you're having an emergency, you need to make sure you have your life straw water bottle with you. Um, or if you're using it day to day, then you're using the life straw filter for daily use when you don't need it for an emergency. So while it's somewhat clever of an idea to try to make it more useful, um, I actually feel like you're then using it for the wrong purposes and you're going to wear out the filter and you're going to wear out the, uh, or you're not going to have it where you need it. Um, I feel like if you're going to have a life straw, have a life straw and keep it in your bag um, because it's really designed for an emergency. All right, so my favorite filter then is the Sawyer uh, Mini Filter. Uh, these are wonderful for a couple of different reasons. Uh, a Life Straw will do two to 300 gallons of water. Uh, Sawyer will do a few thousand gallons of water. The Life Straw obviously is uh, about twice the size of the Sawyer Mini, so it's gonna fit in your bag better. It's gonna take up less space. I actually keep these in my laptop bag and our bug out and go home bags and our kind of, you know, just any EDC, hey, we're out and about and we want to have a, a small kit. I always keep one of these in there um, just in case. What's, what's great about them too is you can, um, depending on the threads, you can attach it directly to a water bottle. Some of the threads, like this water bottle has thinner threads so you can't screw it on exactly but you could get it on and you could use it and squeeze it um, and filter the water with this, which means you could use these as, as a container to, to pick up water. Uh, it does, however, come with this really cool uh, squeezy pouch. And so you take this, you put it on the squeezy pouch, and now, instead of having to find two quarts of water and manage all of that and figure out what you're gonna do, I can put this on the Sawyer, on the squeezable pouch, and I can fill this with exactly the amount of water that I need. Um, it's designed to be squeezed, it's designed uh, to do that. So now the container that I need to have water or the amount of water that I need is not restricted to any sort of a, of a ratio of tablet chemicals to water or size of container that I have to take with me. This really just is how much water do I want to have and um, how much do I want to put in here. In theory, you could actually fill your water bottle with gross water, get to where you're going, fill this with gross water, and now you have twice as much water that you can filter with things that you already had with you as opposed to needing something separate and extra. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for us talking about water filtration today. Uh, as I've said many times in uh, blog posts, uh, that everybody's plan is different. This is my plan. This is what I've come to on my journey so far. As I say, it's a journey. It's not a destination. It's not a yay, I'm done. It's a preparedness journey. And my plan will evolve. Your plan will evolve. If you have other ideas, please leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear about it. We'd love you to share it with the community. Uh, the more information that we can share with everybody, the better. Uh, please go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, smash the notification bell, I don't know, do all the things uh, so you'll know when our next videos come out. Um, we'd love to, to have you uh, watch and enjoy them and give us feedback. And until next week, I think we are going to do these now maybe once a week. It seems like that's a good idea. So I think we're going to try and do that. So hopefully we'll see you back next week. Uh, on the next edition of Cascadia Dispatch. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.